Hello and welcome back to the channel. So then, it's about time that I got round to these. The Electro Coin High Techs, which only really existed for a short amount of time in the £6 and £8 era. Somehow, Electro Coin, for whatever reason, didn't seem to be able to make it in the high tech AWP market. And after a short period of time with us, they, they, they kind of vanished from the high-tech AWP market, and that is a great shame because they were very, very good at it, and I think two of their finest machines here, which are Labyrinth and Sphinx. Unfortunately, Sphinx is running on the £8 inverted commas upgrade ROMs, Labyrinth we've got on the original £6 ROMs. Both of them are on 20p play and you've got your, your cash win and your token win. But it's a little bit lopsided on Sphinx because we've got the £8 token ROMs. Doesn't affect the gameplay too much but it does make it a little bit less balanced than it was on its original £6 ROMs. But fortunately we have at least got the 20p ROMs. These got all kinds of dodgy 5 p and 10p play roms you know five p eight pound and shite like that so we have at least thank goodness got the 20p roms which is the main thing all of these electro coin high techs are kind of from the holy grail the the lost kind of chapter of emulation because the technology that they run on which is called phoenix was not publicly emulated until version 5 of the emulator was released nearly two years ago now because it was in november 2016 prior to that we had not been able to play any machines that were based on the phoenix tech and that included all of the electro coin high techs and i had kind of resigned myself to the fact that we were never going to play these machines emulated it was known that, that wizard had these working in his private builds but at the time wizard had stated that he had retired from releasing emulators publicly and there would be no more public releases so it stung a bit to know that these things were running in an emulator and that i would you know we, we'd never get to play them but i'd, I'd kind of resigned myself to that At the end of the day it's wizard's emulator he, he can release or not release that's up to him so what i was left to do it is actually <laughs> what I was doing was watching videos like this on YouTube. Now, this is a video from Mr. P's Amusements. You can see here that this was uploaded back in 2012. There are an awful lot of videos uh, that Mr. P's put online that I watched, including other ones that, that I thought we'd never get to play again. So, Epoch Machines and MPU4 Video, of course, would be another one there. So... I would watch videos like this, we can hear the sound, we can hear the music, we can see the machines, and that was very nostalgic, and I thought, well, it's as, uh, it's as close as I'm going to get to, to playing them in, in, on my PC, and I always had in the back of my head that, that one of these days I'd maybe get down to Mr. P's and, and, and have a play in there, but it's just such a long way to travel, but I've still got it in my head that I'd like to go to one of these uh, classic amusements, and of course we've, we've got um, Spa has opened up his in Hunstanton now, so that, that might be worth a visit as well. Still got it in my head, I want to do that at some point. We can also see there, by the way, that when this was released, because we've got a nice good close-up here, this machine here, Labyrinth, which I believe was the first one of these, the first electro coin high tech you can see there 1993 and it was originally released on the 20p play six pound token jackpot with the good old three pound cash repeater so i watched these videos i watched an awful lot of videos on on the mr p's channel and and that for me was i thought okay that's as close as we're ever going to get and then of course we got mfme v5 in november 2016 and these machines were available for the first time to play emulated and that was tremendously exciting stuff so i will cover those in this video now electrocoin did a few high techs this is a page on uh, mr p's website 
I definitely remember this fella here, Stairway to Heaven, but we haven't got, as far as I'm aware, a layout for this, which is a great shame, because for this, for Stairway to Heaven, uh, Electrocoin moved to a full sample package. Now, Labyrinth and Sphinx here use... Um, I think it's a, I don't know if it's the Yamaha chip or not, but they basically have synth sound, so the, the, the machine generates the sound from its own sound hardware. Not a bad sounding machine, actually. Both Labyrinth and Sphinx, they, they do some nice tunes, some nice effects, but Electrocoin did then move to a full sample package for a machine like Stairway to Heaven, Street Fighter, that's another one that they did there. I do remember that one. Mr. Do, or is it Mr. Do? I'm never quite sure. And you can see here that that, oh, that's the exports. You can see here that they did have a crack at the high tech AWP market, but they just didn't seem to catch on. They did okay in the arcades. I remember seeing quite a few of these machines in arcades but they didn't seem to do swell in pubs there was just the odd one or two in pubs i cannot explain that i don't know why that was i don't know if it's just because operators thought that maybe electrocoin weren't a trusted player as it were in that segment you know barcrest and bfm and Mayday had it locked down and they didn't want to take a chance on something that was perhaps unproven uh, something like that. Really don't know. It would all be speculation unless anyone knows the exact answer. But unfortunately, they didn't really seem to make it in the high-tech AWP market. Didn't see many of these in pubs at all. And then they just kind of fizzled out. And I think that is a, a shame because these are really good machines. And I think they deserve to do far better than they actually did. So let's have a play on Sphinx here. Let's put a fiver in. We get our five goes for a pound, which is splendid. Now it loves to, it will hold after nudges for just about anything really. It'll hold after nudges for feature, hold after nudges for wins, and it will hold after nudges for the mystery as well. Now your pyramid symbols there, they will get you into the board feature. Your mystery is that little bird there. I'm not quite sure what kind of bird he is. And of course, you've got your standard wins. You can gamble up the wind trail and you can exchange for different features at different areas of the trail. Now, I'm not going to have a gamble on that. I'm not going to go <laughs> higher or lower than a seven. So I think what I will do there is just exchange. Obviously, wind streak, I think, is usually okay. So you can hear that music there. They did a really good job with the synth chip in this. And I, I've got a very soft spot for machines that use these kind of synth chip effects there. Far, far better than the older bloopy bloopy style effects. And they just seem to have a little bit more imagination about them than full sample packages. That's not to say that, you know, manufacturers can't and indeed did do very good jobs with full sample packages. But, you know, ultimately it is just a machine playing sampled sounds, whereas there's a little bit more creativity, I think, goes on with these older synth based sounds. So that wasn't too bad, it was three quid. I don't think the wind streak is ever particularly exciting, but it's usually okay. Um, well, we could get super ambitious there and go for hold after nudges on sevens. I mean, what I should probably try and do here is actually get on the feature itself. Now, these may look like they're uh, straight clones of each other, Labyrinth and Sphinx. You, they, they do have identical board layouts and, and wind patterns and all that, but they did change how they played a bit, for my money, between the, the two. Because Labyrinth, as much as I enjoyed Labyrinth, it did kind of drag it out on the board a little bit. You can see on the board, can we get, oh, skill, god, skill climbers. Fine opportunity for me to embarrass myself here, but I always collected skill climb because you should really be getting it up to certainly the three pound repeater, but okay, you can't, let me just double check, I'm sure you can't slow it down with anything, no you can't. You should be able to get this out to the three pound repeater, I think it's going too fast for the jackpot, but okay, I hate taking skill climbs because I always stuff them up. Oh! <laughs> The pressure, the pressure, dearie me, that was awful. I usually, I, I generally reckon on getting that out. I, I will take skill climb again, because I'm faintly embarrassed about that. That was fucking awful. My God, where was it? Yeah, you may see on, on Labyrinth there, and indeed on Sphinx, that there are an awful lot. It's, it's clearer to see on Labyrinth here, because we've got the classic, uh, and the lights are all gone. But you can see here, they are exactly what they look like, all of those blank spaces. 
And what lambing? Yes, it was good for feature time, but it kind of it was happy to let's get, let's get a mystery note. Well, it was happy to just kind of send you around the board. Oh, it's, that's it's a track mode music going in the background there. I do remember hearing that in the arcades of Manchester as I was, as I was walking around and you'd hear that tune knocking out. Enticing you to play. I remember playing this one a lot in the arcade at uh, Piccadilly Gardens where the uh, Metrolink station is. Uh, Piccadilly Gardens there, there's a big arcade there. They had a labyrinth. I spent a lot of time and money playing that labyrinth in there. So... With Labyrinth, okay, it was nice you got to stay on the board for a long time, but you did kind of get the feeling that you were going round and round and it would occasionally land on some cash and then it would take some cash off you and it would get a little bit long-winded. Whereas with Sphinx, I think they tightened it up for Sphinx and it will kind of kill you a bit quicker. It, it, it won't keep you hanging on for so long and mess you around. If it's going to kill you, it'll kill you. Which does make it a little bit more brutal, in all fairness, but also means that it's a slightly... Mm, can we get there? A slightly less faffing about, and I do prefer the slightly more direct uh, gameplay that Sphinx has. It's just a tremendous shame that we don't have it on the original £6 ROMs, even though it doesn't affect it too much. What can we get? Uh, hold up and just for melons, or always a possibility. What I want to do here is actually just get on the feature. I'm just going to try it if I can to get on the feature. Uh, I might just put a few quid in Labyrinth as well. So let's see if we can get that. That's a nice hold after nudges for the, for the mystery. And what it does on the high-low reel here, also on the... In fact, if we drag it, there you can see there, along with all the numbers, there are a whole load of uh, features on there as well. And you get those from three of the little... I should What kind of bird? I don't know what kind of bird that is. Let's go for it. Mm, okay. Let's see how we're doing. The one that I would really like to see is um, Stairway to Heaven. Because I've just got it in my head that that had a really great sound package on it. And when the electric coin moved to a full sound... Well, there we are. I didn't feature. They did make a really good job of it when they moved to a full sample package. Real skill. Well, this is going to be awful, isn't it? I'm sure it usually puts the sevens in. Oh, there's a jackpot. There is a jackpot in there. What's it fecking after? Oh, my God. What's my chances here? Okay, I think I've got me sighter. I'm gonna fuck. In fact, does it jump? I can't remember if it jumps. Let's have a... Mmm, you know what? I'm not entirely sure that didn't... I've kind of got it in my head. It jumped for the jackpot. It's possible I missed that, but it felt to me as if I... It must be a feature up there, surely. No. Felt to me as if I got that. If I get that again, I'll go for uh, the sevens. I'm sure it didn't cheat you on the sevens. But I, I had ever such a slight vibe there that it, that it kind of stuffed me on that one. And that I did actually hit it. Let's just try and get on the feature here. If we can. It's plain. Uh, I've got to say, I haven't. This is just how I left it last time. I haven't done anything with autoplay on this. It has, I have put a fair bit of cash through this layout because it's one that I play quite a lot. There we are. We are on the feature. So let's get in and see how we get on. Now then. Nudge pot two. Oh, that's the one thing, of course. You know what? I, it's just come back to me now. It has a nudge pot. Sphinx has a nudge pot. Well, that was pretty handy, wasn't it? Sphinx has a nudge pot, whereas Labyrinth doesn't have a nudge pot. So that does give you an extra way on Sphinx as well. Sometimes you can get a decent win off the nudges, and that gives you another way to get a, um, an amount out of it. So let come on. Actually put me in a bit. There we are. There we are. We're in again. If you can get... To, oh, it's got some, some coins there. I think it usually takes you up to about 240 or 3 quid, does it? There we are. If you can get all the way to the middle, it's a jackpot repeater, which never seems to repeat. There are some instant death squares, though. You can, it's quite a dark layout, this, but there are some instant death squares in there. Oh, dear. Fireproof cloak. There we are. Oh, that was the other thing. You know what? I'm... I'm, I'm oh, no! I don't think a fireproof cloak is going to save me from a bottomless pit, unfortunately. Oh, right, there we are. So that's a slight shame. Of course, you have got the little uh, the little mystery there, which is another addition on Sphinx, where you can get a couple of, like, uh, there's an antidote in there for the snake, and 
the fireproof cloak which saves you from the pit and that was another little tweak that they made from labyrinth because that isn't present on that there we can definitely get um um well, that'll put us in two another little tweak that they made from labyrinth i i do think in all fairness even though they look very very similar these two that can we get no oh, real skill i want to get on the feature even though they do look very similar i would say that oh, oh, I know, yeah that Sphinx is the slightly better machine, although the problem with it here being on the £8 jackpot kind of skews me a little bit. Oh dear. Kind of skews me a little bit towards Labyrinth as well. I've, I've probably played them about equally, I would say. Have we got any numbers up there? No. 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 No, no. Just like, no. It's not even there. Well, that was slightly disappointing, wasn't it? And oh, we should just say uh, thank you, of course, to uh, Tommy C for the Sphinx layout. It, it, it was released back in December 2016, this layout. So we, we were lucky to get this one fairly early doors in this new wave of Fruit Machine emulation. So thank you very much to Tommy C for this DX, which I am playing for this video here. And I have spent a fair bit of time playing this one in the emulator because I properly love these old et electro coins. They are fantastic if i could have got to four nudges there that would have been uh, that would have been red sevens and it was spa who uh, who really i think spa and hit the six did uh, a joint release on labyrinth splendid classic on that one there let's just see if we can get just do three holds by the way all the normal stuff works your three holds works you hold after nudges that kind of thing so we're back in let's see if we can do slightly better now the nudge pot here might have a little bit of potential these numbered features get progressively better as you go up. Each sort of uh, ring of... Oh, fuck's sake. That was rather harsh. Each kind of ring here of the feature has several feature squares on it, and they get progressively better the closer that you get to the centre where the jackpot repeater is. It's actually playing a bit nasty, this. And I've, can you see there? I put... Fucking hell, have I put 28 quid in and I've only got £5.80 in the bank. It's it, always worth remembering, as much as I'm eulogising about this machine, I, you could always... That was the thing. You could always lose on these bloody things. And God knows I did. There we are. So like, we're back in there. Labyrinth is doing its attract mode there. It really did like to cry out to you in the arcade to entice you to put some money in. Let's see how we get... Well, we can't really do much worse than last time, can we? I, th I think I could have collected about tuppence, was it? Wow, a challenging move there. Straight into the centre. If we can... Oh, God. So I've got my fireproof cloak. Didn't do me much good last time, does it? But uh, I think there is... Uh, where is the flamey? There, there, is, there is a fire pit. Oh, I think it's there. Can you just see under where I've got my... Uh, now, so I think there's a fire... In fact, so I am on the level now where the fireproof cloak could potentially save me from that. I really want to get back in. That's how I could do with getting back into the... Oh, there we are. Good. I mean, even Sphinx can keep you going... Oh, for fuck's sake, not that pit again. I think he'd have remembered where that was, really. There's nothing that can save you from the pit. It's, that's just game over. I don't believe that. And you can get... I think there's a, a game over on that there. That I think you can get ambushed by robbers on that as well and that i think there's a snaky bite thing as well something like that but we're not doing very well well i say very well on the feature not doing very well full stop here am i let's see if we can get it to the jump we'll certainly play it out to to get the jackpot repeater in the middle there so i might may or may, may even turn down a, a sort of jackpot on the reels or a jackpot nudged in we'll try and get the jackpot repeater although i've got to say i don't think i've seen it repeat once i don't think i've ever had Dear me. It, it's actually been rather mean here, isn't it? I'm, I'm losing quite a bit of cash here, aren't I? No. It, I, I, I must have... Oh, there we are. That, that's some, I must have left this in a bit of a piggy mood the last time I played it. Let's have a look. So, let's see what we can exchange for. It, it is good in that it gives... There we are. You know what? Even though I've got a 12 to gamble on, I will just exchange straight into the feature because I'm really getting quite determined now to get to that bloody jackpot repeater in the middle. Let's have another go. And, but you can see, I think, whereby the, this no-nonsense approach that Sphinx has to the feature Labyrinth, even when it's a feature that basically isn't going to pay you anything or isn't going to give you much of an opportunity to collect anything decent, it tends to keep you going round the board a bit, a bit more, which start almost to the point of irritation whereby you're thinking, you know what, I haven't had a chance to actually bloody well collect anything here. 
you know, or like, you know, are you going to kill me or not? So they did tighten it up. And Sphinx is a very good example of a machine that isn't a clone, even though it looks very, even though it looks very similar. Oh, can I, is it going to go all the way around? It's not, is it? It's not going to go right back. No, it isn't, is it? No. Okay. What's feature eight? Ooh, wind streak. Now, I'm determined to get the jackpot repeater. No. It's like, so even so, they, they look very, very similar. I think Sphinx is a great example of how you can tighten up a machine and make it better. Just just with a few little tweaks. Ooh, what have I got now? Gold coin? That'll give me some cash. No, yeah. Don't fall down the pit. Well, there's a £3 repeater on the nudges. Now, if I was playing this for realsies, I'd probably have my £3 repeater, but I think... Oh, piss. It wasn't a bad £3 repeater. It did like to repeat fairly regularly. So I would have had that, but I'm really wanting to get to the middle here to get the jackpot. Come on. Oh, dear. So I've got me Venom Antidote. That's good. So I'll survive that Black Widow Square. So we've got 14 nudges now. Another offer of the £4 repeater. Come on. Back in again. This, actually, I've got to say, this feature is going on a bit now, isn't it? After me saying, well, it's like it's do or die on this feature, boys. And now it's just sending me right round the house, isn't it? Okay, a pan. Well, we can get in there, which is fine. There we are. Oh, shit, that was a bit careless. Oh, I've got it all going on here. I've got fireproof cloak. I've got a venom antidote. I'm probably going to fall down the fucking hole, aren't I? <laughs> you bastard, there was no need for that, was there? Okay, that's three holes, so we're back in. It's, it's getting a little... I mean, should be getting a bit happy now. I've got like 32 quid in. Right, okay, let's go back in the feature and let's see if we can get that blooming jackpot repeater in the middle. Tell you, they've got so you know you can stuff your deal or no deals up your ass. You really can. They're they're just what I found. I've I've got to say with with the seventy pound jackpot machines in the emulator. Once you've kind of done the method a few times, or once you've forced them a few times, whatever it is. Gotta be honest, you don't really go back to them for, for the gameplay. Whereas with this, I this is a, a layout that I do fire up. I, I can happily fire up layouts like this and just play them. As I was saying on the, the previous video with the, the Crown Jester um, and Fireball, just play them out to the bank limit. Just load them up once in a while, play them out to the bank limit, see, see if I've won or lost, and then do it again at another point. Even the bloody empires, you know, like, like your high spirits and your things like that. Um, th they're worth firing up once. Oh, bollocks. Just playing them through, forcing them out, and if you leave it for long enough, what I found... Oh, look at that. I actually, I actually got saved there from the, from the snake. If you leave it for long enough and don't check the long-term stats, what I find happens is I've forgotten where I was up to, so I can't remember, oh, did I streak this last time? Did I win? Did I lose? So it's all... Oh, bollocks landed on it twice. It's almost like... Go oh, should have held them. It's like going back into it blind, you, you don't know exactly what's going to happen, and I'm getting the feeling here that the last time I played Sphinx, I must have done rather well on it, because this is playing dreadfully, isn't it? So I'm going to stick with this, I am going to have the jackpot repeater out of it, because it's been rather frustrating. The thing is, of course, um, I think this is, we're kind of seeing it here, is it's guarding the jackpot a little bit more. You, you wouldn't find on the £6 jackpot it guard the jackpot quite as it is here. And it's, it's, I know I'm a broken record on this, but I cannot stress enough that where possible, you always want to be playing these machines on their original stake and price. So in the case of these, it's 20p, £6. Always go original stake and price if you possibly can. It's very, very rare for a machine to be improved by a change in the stake or price. I'm trying to think of an example where it's ever happened, and I'm not entirely sure I can. So we are, can we get into the, oh dear, I haven't been over, I, I, that's okay actually, now let me do it on the right one this time, there we are, so I don't hit another mystery when I go in, don't want, no, okay, I've avoided that, but I'm not doing very well off that bottomless pit, I'm, it's, it's had me a few times, can we just, oh, it's just, can you see there, it's just avoiding them two 
bloody arrow. Oh, that should do it. Surely. Come on. Is it going to go round? It's not going to go round, is it? It's not going back from the, the question mark at all, is it? You absolute pisser. Okay, well, I'll... Oh, no! I actually hit it on the bottomless pit! Degsies! Because it needs a help. It needs a hand doing that. I'm killing myself. Bloody hell. Right, okay. We're going to have another go at it. I'm, I'm sure it, that he's got to be prepared to put me into the, the middle. In the not-too-distant future. But we'll see how we get on. Labyrinth really is a lustily singing its... Uh, Singing that, the, and the, I do remember the one in the arcade. They actually had the volume turned up pretty bloody loud on it. They had, um, in fact, you can see it on Sphinx here. You see it above the S of Sphinx. They had the speaker kind of front facing at the top of the cabinet, and they were capable of putting out a reasonable amount of volume. And as Labyrinth is demonstrated there, it does kind of fire out its tune quite often in attract mode. Can we? So we, I mean, we're into token wins here. That is a token win. So it's not like it's. Oh, fucking hell. It's not like it's saying you can't have anything more than a cash win at this moment in time. It's, it's token happy, but it is just kind of refusing to let me have that jackpot. I'd almost fancy now if I can get into the middle of having a jackpot repeat. No, nothing there. But this is. I mean, I'm, I'm 35 quid. So I'm like 30 quid down here. At this moment in time... Oh, unlimited nudges! Well, how for one, two... Don't matter. <laughs> it wasn't going to have that, was it? So I didn't even... Oh, you know, one, two, three... No, no, I couldn't have uh, even had four nudges. I couldn't have had the sevens. Not that I want the sevens anyway. I am locked on target here to just get the blooming jackpot repeater. Uh, no, hold after nudges for that. Can we get... What have we got up there? Cherries, plums... Oh, a feature. There we are. No, no. I need one more nudge to get a feature. There we are. Don't matter. It dropped in anyway. This is... A, so I am now. I'm 36 quid in. I've got £5.80 in the bank. So I am fully 30 quid down. And I've been playing the machine for what? About 20 minutes. So have a think about that. I am now £30 down on an £8 token jackpot machine. So... When, when I sometimes tell these stories of how much money I lost and how, you know, how desperate it could get sometimes, just remember that even on these small stake and prize machines, catch them wrong and they could have a pretty substantial chunk of cash off you and we're going back here. This machine came out in 1993, so we're going back 25 years and this machine has had 30 quid off me. So, even on these small stakes and prizes, you could still lose quite a lot of money. Now, let's just avoid the bottomless fucking pit this time. So I can have wind streak. Come on, just put me in, please. Why is it? Come on. This is, uh, this is, I think this is about as bad as I've ever seen it play. It's happy to give me. Come on, I'm 540. I'm not far off the blooming jack. Oh. Ambushed by grave robbers is the death one there. None of this stuff is any good to me because I... <laughs> this is fucking awful, isn't it? I'm not going to hold the mysteries there because, right, we are now locked on target. We're going to have the fucking jackpot repeat out of this thing. We can get a win. Okay, what... It sometimes does you an exchange to pyramid right at the bottom here. Yes, that's what it has done. So let's go back in. I'm not entirely sure that there's any difference, really. You know, on some features whereby you, that the higher the win that you exchange into the feature, it makes the feature better. You don't really get that on, on these, I don't think. And I'm not entirely sure it makes any difference where you exchange in. Well, it's making heavy weather of it. That, that should put me in, yeah? Come on. We're on the level now where I can get in. Fucking hell! This, you know, if, if this were real money, this would be getting fairly... There we are, three whole things can do the cherries, isn't it? Yeah. It's just starting to get a bit desperate, this. Well, pyramid again, let's go in. It's going to have to kick back a bit now, isn't it, for me to... To, to kind of have any chance of getting my money back. We'll stick with it. So I'll take it out for a jackpot repeater, but then hopefully it will have a little bit more value in it after that, because it's for me. So let's just collect that out. Dun, 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 dun. So let's get me 580 out. And let's get some uh, stats up here. 
Look at me profit and loss for this session. So I am £31.20 down, and I have been playing this machine for, what, 20, 20 odd minutes maybe, something like that. So that so imagine if, if you go to an arcade, as, as I often did, with maybe 50, 60 quid. You've got 50 or 60 quid on you. The first machine that you play does this down to you. You can be 30 odd pound down on one machine right out the gate. You only need another machine to do that to you. And all of a sudden, your 50 quid's gone. Your 60 quid's gone. Maybe, you know, I, I, maybe I would go back to the cash point and get some more money out if I could do that. But I think it is easy to see here. I'm kind of glad it's done this because it does give visibility here. It may, maybe playing a little bit nasty because we've got the eight pound jackpot, but fundamentally, if you caught a six pound jackpot machine after the streak, and if you were stupid enough as I was back then to just not really have the self-control or the nouse about me, to kind of say, you know what, this machine is on its arse. What I need to do is walk away. I would just, if anything, I would just dig my heels in and just keep lumping away at it. You know the old thing, it's got to pay something soon. It's got to pay some money out soon. And I think you can see, oh, I'm going to hit the uh, secret passage there. You can see here from what this, this machine here is doing, Sphinx is doing 50, 60, 70 pound down. If, if you got into an arcade, Fucking hell, had a bad run. Even on six pound token jackpot machines, you could lose a lot of money. And not oh, four nudges. Yeah, there we are. And it wouldn't take you that long. So, there we are. Let's just have the feature. I know there are better ways that I could be playing this at this moment. I'm probably getting hidden features, three pound repeats, and all that kind of thing. But I am just determined here to get that repeater in the middle. And then we'll see if we can get a little bit of value out of it. Well, I am aware that I've been recording for 32 minutes already. I really didn't think that this would take so long to do. <laughs> but, uh, it's giving me a little bit of instruction here. It's kicking me ass all over the place, bouncing me up and down the place. Right, here we, in we go. I've just, every single board, I'm thinking, surely now it's going to go into the centre. I haven't been ambushed by grave robbers yet. I don't want to tempt fate. Well, that's got to be... I think I might go for the secret passage there. That might be me better. But don't put me to the outside. There we are. That's put me further in. Come on, just put me in, put me in, put me in. Eight nudges. I mean, I, I, I'm sure I could have had things by now, but panic attack. I should be able to get in off that, shouldn't I? Yeah, there we are. Right, if we can just avoid that. I have no words. I have no... You know what, God, if I was in the arcade, if, I, if this was real money back in the day and this was in the arcade, I would be start. You know that horrible, sweaty, kind of gambler-style fear that comes over you when you're thinking, shit, it's happening again. Here's all my money going. This is going to fuck up the weekend. It's going to fuck up my night out or whatever it may be. That, that kind of cold, shivery sweat that comes over you. But you can't stop. You kind of like just vote you. You kind of locked on target. You can't pull yourself away until you know all of your money has gone. It was like, ooh, uh, it's all coming back to me now. Dreadful memories, really was. So, and this is again, and I know I've, I know I do repeat myself on this, but you know, at the same time, I guess not everyone watches all the videos, but. It, it, there is that kind of juxtaposition because I'm always bigging these machines up. They're brilliant. They're the best example of AWPs ever. And what I'm kind of getting at, in a way, what I'm saying is that these things were brutally, brutally addictive. Yes, they are fun games. That there are genuine, there is real fun and challenge in here. You've got genuinely skillful features. But what it all and, and yes, they're fun to play. But what it comes together, it because there's real money at stake, ultimately I'm talking about things that are frighteningly, frighteningly addictive. Come on, I've nearly got a jackpot, come on. So it's, I'm, I'm, in a way, the fact that I'm praising them so much is I'm almost saying, that, that's a jackpot now, I'm almost saying, there we are, right, thank fuck for that. There we are, let's just have the jackpot sequence, it's very good. I love this synth sound, it's so good. So yeah, what I'm kind of getting at is that they are perfectly designed to, to be 
brutally, brutally addictive. You kind of have to question, really, because because they were always low. So let's just see if we can get repeat. Come on. <laughs> Even after all that, it doesn't repeat. You kind of have to say with Fruit Machine is... I think they always slipped under the gambling radar a bit because they were kind of seen, let's do it that, that way, because they were kind of seen as, you know, low stakes, low prizes, you know, even the even the, the bigger end of these small prizes are in tokens. That's an awful number, isn't it? It was because they were in pubs and because they were in seaside arcades. I think they always kind of slipped under the radar as being a bit of fun. That even it's there in the name, isn't it? Amusement with prizes. They're not really gambling. They're they're not proper gambling. Their amusement with prizes. But I think for those of us who were there at the time, we know full well that these were proper gambling and that you could lose on them as you could lose in proper gambling. Yes, it would take you an amount of time. It's not like you could go in, you know, like going to a casino and putting £50 on the spin of the roulette wheel or something like that. But ultimately, we were talking about gambling. Let, let's not, let's not beat about the bush. These things always were proper gambling, even though they managed to get some entertainment in there as well. And in a way, that's what made them, I think, so pernicious, is because they were genuinely entertaining and they were challenging, but they were dreadfully, dreadfully addictive as well. Can we get one, two, three, four? Maybe I'd, I, I am aware that I've, I could have had it. Oh, there we are. Hold after nudges for jackpot, and I should think so too. Let's have that. There we are. Unfortunately, you don't get the jackpot sequence and you don't get a repeat on it. I think it can hold. I've got it in my head that if it really, really wants to, it can just hold on the reels. Let's see if we can just build up this bank a little bit. What have we got up there? So I can't... No, it's just... Let's just well, let's, let's be ambitious because it, it does owe us a bit of cash, this. Let's see if we can just get... What have we got up there? This one, two, three... Oh, is that... It is plums, I think. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Pyramid. So we could go in for pyramid. Let's go. We'll go on a two. Eight nudges. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, ho, ho. exchange. That's a jackpot. Oh. Well, that didn't go entirely according to plan, did it? Fuck, you know what? I didn't actually know. Bollocks. That's really bad. What? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Will it let me get the feature? You know what? I completely forgotten that that did a respin on eight nudges. Okay, we've got the feature. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a kickback. I am sorry. This machine. This machine. This video. This fucking. This video is nearly forty minutes long. I'm, I always got it in my head that. that oh bollocks. Oh, and I could I have held something there? We've got a gamble. Let's just try and hurry it along a bit. See how... Oh, piss. I haven't really had... I've only had one hidden feature. Is he going back to playing like a pig? Let's... I'll, I mean, I've got six... Obviously, I've got 16... Oh, maybe three... Oh, there we are! It's come straight in. So it... It's playing a bit odd, really, isn't it? it it's kind of dicking me about, but then just... One holding for a jackpot. Well, decent bank. Up two. Oh, two. No good. Let, maybe a whole lot of nudge on that? No, not going to happen. Uh, no, if I could just get another mystery. Because uh, I've only had one. Let's see if we can get another mystery. Can we get another mystery? No, only um, two holds there. How many nudges do I need? Have we haven't got plums up there. No, nothing. Can't imagine it. Shall we? Go on, then. <laughs> that was rather optimistic that it would hold for another jackpot. The other thing with this, if you imagine that this is a real machine, and I'm... Okay, I've got 24 quid in the bank now, but it's all in tokens. So, in a, in a real arcade scenario, what am I going to have to do with this 24 quid? It's not money that's going to come out of this. It's, it's 24 quid's worth of tokens. So, I am going to have to... If this isn't a real arcade, I am just going to have to carry on playing 
machines. It's not even like you you kind of get your money back at the or some of your money back. Is there no? Is that it? Is it done? Am I going to be twenty-four pound? Um, how much am I going to be down on this? Quite a bit. Okay. If I can get into the feature, I will. If it's if it'll give me an exchange for pyramid. Real. Okay. You know what? Let's have another go at this, and I'm going to go for red sevens this time. Okay. God. I should be able to hit that really. So it's after. I think I've got it. Oh, oh, no win! <laughs> well, I, I can't accuse it of slipping there. I, I think I was just a little bit late there. That would be bloody harsh, isn't it? I'll give you another go or something. So, I've not done well here. Let's, um, we'll, we'll get the bank out in a second. Let's collect that out. Oh, I caught, you know what? I'm being a twat. It's an eight pound old cash rom. <laughs> Silly Dexy, it is. I've forgotten it's an £8 old cash ROM. So, but obviously if it were an £8 token ROM, that would have all been tokens. I'm just going to see it out, and um, let's look at me profit and losses, but on a real machine, I'd possibly think, to, I'd be thinking to myself, surely it's got a little bit more in it. And we did get three jackpots, I suppose, at the end of it all, but now nah, it looks like it's, uh, looks like this may be the time to walk away. We haven't had a £3 repeat yet either, have we? No. Okay. No. Okay, what I'm going to do here, because I'm very, very much aware this video is really starting to go on a bit now. What I'm going to do is just pause the video, and when I can get, like, a, a hidden feature, or something like that, because I haven't... Do, I've, there's a load of features on this that I haven't got at all, so I want to get those in the video, but I'll pause it and bring it back when that happens. Okay, let's embarrass myself with skill climb again. I'll be wanting to take this out to the £3 repeater. Come on, Dexter, you can do it this time. There we are. Come on. Because I was so bad last time. Oh, my shitting piss! Well, let's click this one. It's feature two on the board, which is spot a win. Let's have that. I think it's just a dapple on the uh, win, mate. Oh, not even that. Oh, look at that. Well, I wonder if there's any skill involved. Oh, I actually hit it on the sevens. Fantastic. I'd like to say that was skillful, but I couldn't in all good conscience say that I uh, did that skillfully. Let's have a repeat. No, there's just nothing repeated on this. It's been a little bit of a pig. Right, I'm going to have another go at real skill. Come on. I see what I'm, I will just go for the red sevens. Where are they? Okay, got me sighter. Oh, it doesn't slip, surely, but I don't. Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Hold up just for that. No. Well, I'm on the inside ring here. Let's just see if I can get. A, it's kind of avoiding that. I can't get the hidden features for some reason. It's avoiding that. So I've just thought, you know what? Oh, don't kill me. And we know that the panic attack doesn't do it, does it? Because it doesn't go back. So I've got a jackpot offered off the nudge pot. You can see there. Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm, go I'm going into the middle here. Come on. Shit. And then that's not going to help me. We know that that doesn't do the job. Nudge pot again, offering the jackpot. It's got to go in, surely. It, will, it, will it kill it? It's possible, I suppose. All things are possible. Oh, there, there, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, you fudger. It's trying to give me that jackpot, isn't it? But if we can get into the middle, of course, we get the repeat chance. It's just not landing on anything. It's just not landing on cash values. It's not... just keeps bouncing me back around. See, this is rather... Oh, dear. Well, that'll teach me, won't it? Well, and that's a hold after nudge for jackpot, so... I'm a few bob down there. I'm nearly 40 quid down. It's playing a little bit weird. I don't know why. Somehow it's just playing a little bit weird today. It, it's, it's not really letting me get the hidden features as often as it does. And, and I'm not playing it very well either, but... 
I was hoping to get another hidden feature. What I'm going to do here, I think, is... Come on, let's just have a last crack at the hidden feature there. Oh, there we are. Found it. It has... Right, let's see what we get. Uh, the last little hurrah we have got. Oh, spotted him. We've had that before. So I don't think there's any... I think it goes a little bit too fast. Certainly for an old fucker like me to react to it. And I don't think... I'm just watching that. I don't think there's any pattern to it either. No, I'm just trying to see... Oh, no! I tried to go for the jackpot there. <laughs> it was too slow. Too slow, Dexy. You old fucker. You ain't going to be able to do that. Well, I think I'll wrap this one up here. I mean, I think th this machine speaks for itself. Uh, it's it really, really easy to just get involved in a session on this. It is such a great old AWP. Albeit with the caveats before as well. It's no wonder that I could spend entire fucking days in the arcade when machines like this were available to be played. I don't think it's possible to get addicted to the crap that's out there now. But when, when, when this was kind of... Uh, when this was what was available in the pubs and the arcades, I don't think it's any wonder that they got their hooks so completely into so many people. Now, let's just have a go at this as a last little punt here. So I'm going to kind of have to exchange whatever it offers me, aren't I? Pick a win, okay. Well, we haven't seen that. Let's have a go at pick a win. A nice little ditty. Not interesting. No, 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 no. Not grapes. We'll have that. We'll have red sevens, certainly. See if we can get a repeat, and then we'll have to wrap this one up, I think. It's not been repeat happy today, has it? At all. It's been a little bit mean. So what? what's the... Uh, so I am... I've finished off 30 quid down. So that is a 30 pound loss on this, if, if it were real money. So... I'm sure you're aware of these already, but if you haven't given them any, any decent play, then fire these up in the emulator. They are fantastic. I do not know why ElectroCoin didn't do better in the high-tech AW space. I have no idea why they didn't seem to be particularly successful, why they didn't seem to get any traction in pubs, because I would have thought that these would have made fantastic pub AWPs because even on Sphinx there you can see that you can get quite a good go on the board. Labyrinth even more so. It'd love to just keep you going round and round the board. Which I would have thought for, for a pub machine would have, would have been a great prospect. But for some reason it just didn't happen and these were kind of lost to the mists of time but I would say that they are worth digging out and playing again. We have Classics for Labyrinth, we've got the Fantastic DX by Tommy C here for Sphinx, but um, they're both equally enjoyable in my opinion. So there you go, that is the Electrocoin Hitex. If we ever get a layout for that, for, uh, well, wrong one, sorry. If we ever get a layout for Stairway to Heaven with the sound, it would have to have the sound. Uh, that that would be worth a video all of its own for me because I loved that one. I only ever saw a couple of them, but I've, I really do remember those as being a great AWP. As were all the Electrocoin high techs, in my opinion, they deserved to do far better than they did. But of course, this was the golden era of Barcrest and BFM and Maygay and Project and all the rest. So they had some pretty stiff well-established competition but even with that being said i think they deserved more success than they appeared to actually get um i'm going to shut up now sorry this one has gone on a bit but it is so easy to just get involved with these machines and play them for far longer than you were intending to so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll catch up with you next time but for now goodbye